Let me tell you cosmically where tow truck driver lands, just on the cosmic just wheel in the sky. Roofer? Roofer, sandwich between roofer and publicist uh. on the cosmic S wheel in the sky. Tow truck drivers and tow truck companies are the amongst the in impound yards and all that stuff are amongst the worst, uh, most unscrupulous, dicey, dicey, horrible people (laughs) on the planet. They're horrible people. The whole the whole impound tow yard thing is just we got your car and uh, you want it. You want it back. There's a nice, uh, nice glory hole in this piece of plywood underneath uh, this uh, glass. I'm standing up here. I'm just going to poke my dork through it and start blowing. (laughs) That's how it works. I mean, you get your car towed. I told uh, you, you, get your car towed on a Thursday night. You go on Friday morning. That's two days impound. Right. It it was it was towed on the ninth. Announced the tenth. Yeah, it's been seven hours. Two days. Two days. And then you, whenever you start arguing, it's like, well, what are you arguing for? The car's back there. You're not getting to it. There's a, there's a fence. It's got it's got barbed wire on it. And you're not getting to it until you pass. It's interesting. Oftentimes, I've had stuff towed. I had my license plate ripped off my motorcycle once, and they just towed my motorcycle. Because there's no license plate? Yeah, because it got ripped off. But and, I don't understand. A, a, well, they're supposed, to check, they're supposed to check the numbers on it, whatever, but it doesn't matter. Once it gets towed, that's it. Oh. The guy at the tow yard doesn't care. He's, you got to pay me. Oh. So you can get it back and go take it up to the court. Oh. It's the biggest scam in the world. These guys stand around. I like when it rains really hard and they hang out in the intersections that are flooded and yank people out but charge them 50 bucks a pop or whatever. They what? Oh, yeah. You never see that? What's oh, while oh, the intersection will get yeah, flooded yeah. and someone yes. will get stuck in there? Tow truck drivers are the worst amongst. I always forget to include them in my list of just horrible people. And the guys who drive the trucks, I mean, these are just your common criminals, essentially. They're not as bad. The impound yard guys who work with the sweeps, with the cops, are just amongst the lowest. They are a, a, a rattlesnake's belly in a wagon train groove. But I always you understand? <laughs> but I- Where'd you go? Lower than that. Wagon train groove. A wagon train cuts a groove in the muddy soil, and they are a snake's belly that is in that groove. The wheel groove. The wheel groove. But I live in the satisfaction of knowing that you uh, drove your car off of one of these trucks one time. I got to tell you, I story. want this on my headstone. Uh-huh. I drove, Permanent record. I drove my car off a tow truck, and I am telling you, is God is my witness, kiddies. It was not in sort of eh, half toe position or six inches off the ground, or it wasn't when the guy was lowering it down or raising it up. It was in full toe position <laughs> when I drove off of that tow truck. It was the uh, kind. It was the kind I think that had the a strap like it was the it was the the, the arms, the two prongs that went under oh, and then yeah. lifted up to about three feet off the ground yeah, yeah. and then and then it was lashed. Yeah. The rear tires were lashed down to the those two arms. Had you, two oh, you, you went out back and unlashed them? I argued with this sea sucker. <laughs> I hope you're listening right now. Drive right into the ocean, you puss. (laughs) I argued with this sea sucker for a half an hour. I was trying to bribe, you know, I just, look, just look, lower the car. I'm standing here. I'll give you 80 bucks and we'll go home. No, no, no. It's just crazy nationality. Pissed off, angry, horrible foreign guy. His girlfriend in the cab was just going at it. With me, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I still to this day am not exactly sure what he wanted. I think he probably it was a nice car. It was a BMW M3 I, that I leased. He probably thought he was going to get three hundred bucks instead of the hundred. You know, I you know because I was saying to the guy, look, instead of following you in someone else's car to the impound yard following my own car. Yeah. Although it would be interesting to see what my car looked like driving backwards at a 45-degree angle. It was parked in the wrong spot or something? I was parked in the wrong spot at like a 7-Eleven. I parked oh. under... It didn't park in a slot. I parked under a post or something. Oh. But anyway, this guy... I said, look, look, instead of paying that 120 bucks and whatever, I'll just give you 90 bucks, 100 bucks right now, and we'll just, just lower it and we'll leave. And he just... He wouldn't do it, but it seemed like he wanted. It was unclear. He wasn't a scrupulous guy. He wanted something. Maybe just wanted three hundred bucks. So, and, and these guys are so dirt dumb too. I, you know, he's like, I have to tow it back because, uh, you know, I can't just come out on a call and uh, return with nothing. 
And then I said this. You ever get called out on a call, go out to pick up a car, and the car's gone? Oh, yeah, all the time. Oh, okay. This is it. This is that time, except for this time, you got 80 bucks. You say, 80 bucks? You come out there, you tell your boss, I came out, the car was gone, I went back. Wouldn't do it, wouldn't do it. Wouldn't. They start driving away, and I just jumped in the car, and I put my foot on the brake, and he would drag the front part of my car, the front, you know, 70% of your braking's in your front brakes of your car. Just drag me, and then he'd get out of the car and start yelling at me, and I'd get out and start yelling at him. Then he'd run back to his pickup, his tow truck. I'd jump back in my car. I, just, I would not, I was not going to let him tow me. And it was, you know, 2 in the morning. I had a couple of beers, you know. Ooh. It was a Friday night. It was after a man show party. I, was, I wasn't going to go to get my car impounded. It kept dragging me, and uh, at a certain point, Tom Stern, one of my buddies, you know, he's from New York, he's nuts, man show director guy, mm. he just yelled, I, he unlashed one of the tires, the tires just were, just the one on his side, yeah. and just screamed at me, undo it, unlash it, go, and it was like one of these things where I was just standing at the, you know, the door of a paratrooper plane with no parachute, and a drill sergeant just yelled, jump, and I just <laughs> dove, like, like, huh, what? Boom. He just started screaming. Go on. I unlashed it. He unlashed it. The guy was like in the tow truck on the squawker arguing with his girlfriend or something. And I just popped it in the first, started up, and just boom. I just drove right off this thing. I dropped three feet. And uh, heard heard some bad bad noises on the way down. <laughs> Landed. Everybody scattered. All the man show people out there. Everyone just started running. And I just hauled ass and peeled out. There you go. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. F them. Hey, everyone should try it. <laughs> a nice, nice little, little, little dent under the car. Just pulled out the spare, put my boot in there, push it down. No, no trouble. Mm -hmm. right. I was waiting for a few days for cops to show up at my house, though. Oh, really? Well, I figured that kind of thing might be Some at least of, a misdemeanor. Yeah, you know, something. if you're in full tow position, you jump in your car and drive off it. I, they got to have some kind of law. Yeah, probably a law, right? Probably. Probably. Okay. Anyway, hey, if you're listening, buddy, kill yourself. <laughs> Literally a millionaire. Take a quick break. Literally. Literally. Be right back after this.